having like these routines and being able to kind of stick with what we've been doing for a while has left room for us mm. to figure out how do we want to live differently. Yeah. It's hard to like really dream and figure that out if I'm constantly transitioning, constantly doing yes. all of these things. We've realized that settling down in your life is not the same thing as settling in your life. Hey guys, I'm Kaylea. I'm Jake. And, and we, we are, are the, the Vedas. Vedas. I feel like Jake and I have come to an interesting time in our lives. Um, we thought that this title of settling versus settling down actually is super relevant. Mm -hmm. And we talk about it a lot. So we're like, why not just talk about it today together? Mm -hmm. Settling down just to define means usually getting married or uh, committing to a career for a long time in a specific job or a specific mm. place. So you're settling down, literally like you're hunkering down. You're not like ready to move and right. ready to change Constantly. things right away. Right. You're like, I'm gonna sit back. I'm gonna be in, be in this environment for maybe a couple years, three years. I don't know, but this is what I'm sticking to. That's of course yeah. what settling down is. But what does settling mean? Settling. It's like you're settling uh, for second best. That's how I think of settling. Mm. Um, like I'm not doing the things that I love. I'm like I don't like my life. It's boring. It's stale. Mm. Um, I'm not living my best life. So I guess we're also wondering, you know, where you guys are at, yeah. how you're feeling. Um, I don't know, like in this path of trying to figure out how to live differently for your life. Mm -hmm. Um, and maybe you're like us and you're on this straight line and mm -hmm. it's kind of like, you feel like you should be somewhere else, but you know that you're maybe feel called to just keep on going. Mm -hmm. Um, and just, we want to encourage you to like, keep going, even mm -hmm. if you feel like it's you're stagnant one of the reasons that i think people don't like the idea of settling down in your 20s is that it's very easy to settle in your life mm. by saying okay now i'm comfortable so good so therefore i'm not going to challenge myself spiritually or try to challenge myself physically or emotionally or socially and then all of a sudden it's like you realize at 40 years old midlife crisis all the stuff that gen zers <laughs> millennials we like our fear the most is like not critically thinking in our lives. Mm. That's why people say, oh yeah, because they're the same thing. Once you settle down, you're settling in your life. It's just not true. Mm. And I know it's tempting to like, like want to throw in the towel, like mm -hmm. Jake's saying, or give up when it's hard or when you feel like things are going in a straight line, but- Or when it's comfortable. When it's comfortable. Yeah. It's just not normal to um, kind of commit yourself to something, even as a young adult, and even because we're mm -hmm. 24, mm -hmm. and we talk about how it really is tempting to not stay in one place for mm -hmm. more than like a year or six months. Once it gets boring, yeah. I'm gonna like dip out and I'm gonna quit when it gets hard, mm -hmm. to be honest. Yeah, and there's, it seems like a, a very negative connotation in our society yeah. for young people in their 20s that we shouldn't settle down, that we should be trying new things as uh, yeah. new jobs and traveling at least six to eight months out of yeah. the year. I'm gonna quit my job and travel yeah. in a van. I want to do that. Exactly. But you know what I mean? Like that's that's the the, right. the only People good life. People are getting married later. People are buying houses later. And that's not a bad thing. No. But we're realizing us being the exact opposite of us actually getting married at 23 years old. Mm. Um, us liking our jobs enough to say, we actually want to be pastors in this specific church mm. for the next several years. Right. Like we don't see things hugely change and we have a goal why we're doing it, mm. but this apartment, we really like this apartment. We're going to stay here for a while. <laughs> like right. that's settling out. That was like very different from what we've seen the world kind of praise in your twenties. Right. And it is hard. Like mm -hmm. it, it totally is hard. And I don't feel like, um, like, we can feel alone a, a lot in this position of ours mm -hmm. and being married young, um, being pastors in our church and sticking and committing ourselves to, to a few things. Having like these routines and being able to kind of stick with what we've been doing for a while has left room for us mm -hmm. to figure out how do we want to live differently. Yeah. It's hard to like really dream and figure that out if I'm constantly transitioning, constantly doing yes. all of these things. Um, so that actually is like, Cool. Yeah. yeah. So I've loved that. Like, how would I have space and margin mm. to, to figure this out? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's like Maslow's hierarchy of needs. Like you start with the most basic food, water, shelter. But if those are the things that you're constantly working through, which again, is not a bad thing. No. Um, yeah. But if it's you're good. changing your job every six months, again, this is if the luxury you have of 
uh, being able to change jobs or sticking to your job. A lot right. of people don't have those same privileges. But what happens is that your brain immediately cannot think further than the basic needs. Mm. But once you have those met consistently, year after year, all of a sudden, at least for our lives, we've been actually to be able to go up and say, okay, what makes me truly happy? Mm. Like what things do I really need to change besides maybe a job or besides um, budgeting better? Like what, yeah, what's the next level of thinking that I can get to. We went to this place where you bring your own um, like jars and all of that mm -hmm. so you can refill so it's like waste free so mm -hmm. you're not buying plastic from stores but you're taking your own stuff you're filling up to get like soap or yeah. mouthwash stuff like that. It's like $80. It was awesome. It's crazy. But that's what we want to do in our life later but I know we can't buy $80 of mouthwash every week right. but we've tried it mm -hmm. um, and that was actually really Yeah fun. we want to live cleanly. I've something that I'm doing now is I'm not overbooking my my day-to-day -day schedule because when I start doing that, I feel anxiety, I feel stress, and I like can't function well. So I don't know why I just throwing that out there. That's something that's been super life-giving and guiding for me to be like, dude, I am not going to overwhelm myself by scheduling this mm -hmm. with this person or five people in one day. Like mm -hmm. I function the best when I spread it out and I don't overbook myself. So throwing mm -hmm. that out there is a little nugget. Yeah, thingy. and I'm sure you learned that also because or you wouldn't maybe have learned that if you're thinking of bigger things like job or career right, or right, relationships. Right. Like I'm actually or, able to think in the details yeah. because things are like I've ha created the foundation to be mm -hmm. stable enough. It's like exponential growth, but you have to do something consistently for time to actually grow. Um, Malcolm mm. Gladwell calls that the 10,000 hour rule. But how can you get that 10,000 hours if you're constantly changing everything in your life and you're never settling down mm. enough to commit yourself to something? Right. So it's both and like, yeah, challenge yourself, but also sometimes it's okay to be comfortable knowing that you're just putting in the hours, doing the things that you know you want to for your dreams to come true later on down the road. Mm. If you have uh, questions for us about maybe the difference that how we have decided we're not going to settle for second best in our life, even though we have settled down. Um, mm, you can okay. ask us questions, but also, yeah, where are you at? Like, are you at a place where you're like, no, I actually do me need to make some uh, big changes in my life. Like, I do need to change my job. I need to get out of this mm. unhealthy relationship. I need to. Right. And again, those are all fine. Or if you're more like us and you've actually kind of settled down, but you don't want to settle in your life, talk to us about that. I'm right. very interested in hearing what your thoughts are. Yes, we are. Well, thanks for being here with us as we talked about the difference between settling and settling down. Uh, we'll see you next time.